The United Nations buffer zone in Cyprus is a demilitarized zone, patrolled by the United Nations Peacekeeping Force in Cyprus UNFICYP, that was established in 1964 and extended in 1974 after the ceasefire of 16 August 1974, following the Turkish invasion of Cyprus, and the de facto partition of the island into the area controlled by the Republic of Cyprus southern Cyprus save for the British sovereign and base areas and the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus in the north. The zone, also known as the Green Line Greek, Prasingram Prasini Grammy, Turkish, Yesil Hat, stretches for 180 kilometers 112 miles from Paralimni in the east to Kato Pirgos in the west, where a separate section surrounds Kokina. The zone cuts through the center of Nicosia, separating the city into southern and northern sections. In total, it spans an area of 346 square kilometers, 134 square miles, varying in width from less than 20 meters, 66 feet to more than 7 kilometers, 4.3 miles. The line is also referred to as the Attila line, named after the Turkish code name for the 1974 military intervention, Operation Attila. Turkish forces built a barrier on the zone's northern side, consisting mainly of barbed wire fencing, concrete wall segments, watchtowers, anti-tank ditches, and minefields. Some 10,000 people live in several villages and work on farms located within the zone. The village of Pyla is famous for being one of the few remaining villages in Cyprus where Greek and Turkish Cypriots still live side by side. Other villages are Danaea, Athenu and Truloi. Some areas are untouched by human interference and have remained a safe haven for flora and fauna. History A buffer zone in Cyprus was first established in 1964, when Major General Peter Young was the commander of the British Peace Force a predecessor of the present UN force set up in the wake of the intercommunal violence of the early 1960s. After stationing his troops in different areas of Nicosia, the general drew a ceasefire line on a map with a green chinograph pencil, which was to become known as the Green Line. It later transpired that the map General Young was using had been borrowed from Major Bill Garbutt of the 14th, 20th King's Hussars, whose clerk, Lance Corporal Arnie Greenwood, had marked the ceasefire line on the map with the only colored writing instrument that he had, which happened to be green. The Green Line became impassable following the July 1974 Turkish invasion of Cyprus during which Turkey captured approximately 37% of Cypriot territory, in response to a short-lived Greek Cypriot coup. A «security zone» was established after the Tripartite Conference of Geneva in July 1974. Pursuant to United Nations Security Council Resolution 353 1974, the foreign ministers of Greece, Turkey, and the United Kingdom convened in Geneva, Switzerland, on 25 July 1974. According to UNFICYP, the text of the joint declaration transmitted to the Secretary-General of the United Nations was as follows. A security zone of a size to be determined by representatives of Greece, Turkey, and the United Kingdom, in consultation with UNFICYP, was to be established at the limit of the areas occupied by the Turkish armed forces. This zone was to be entered by no forces other than those of UNFICYP, which was to supervise the prohibition of entry. Pending the determination of the size and character of the security zone, the existing area between the two forces was not to be breached by any forces. The UN Security Council then adopted the above declaration with Resolution 355. When the coup dissolved, the Turkish armed forces advanced to capture approximately 37% of the island and met the Green Line. 
The meandering buffer zone marks the southernmost points that the Turkish troops occupied during the Turkish invasion of Cyprus in August 1974, running between the ceasefire lines of the Cypriot National Guard and Turkish army that de facto divides Cyprus into two, cutting through the capital of Nicosia. With the self-proclamation of the internationally unrecognized, ''Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus'' The buffer zone became its de facto southern border. Traffic across the buffer zone was very limited until 2003, when the number of crossings and the rules governing them were relaxed. Topic: <laughs> Sectors. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Sector One. starts at Kokina Exclave and covers approximately 90 km 55 miles to Mamari, west of Nicosia. Since 16 October 1993, it has been the responsibility of the Argentinian contingent with approximately 212 soldiers. Sector 1 headquarters and command company are located in San Martin Camp, which is near Scoriotisa village. Support Company finds its home at Rocker Camp, near Zeros in the north. The two line companies are deployed along four permanently manned patrol bases while also conducting mobile patrols from the San Martin and Rocker Camps. <laughs> <laughs> Sector 2 Starts at Mamari, west of Nicosia and covers 30 kilometers 20 miles to Kaimakli, east of Nicosia. Since 1993, it has been the responsibility of the British contingent, which deploys using the name Operation Tosca. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Sector 4. Starting at Kaimakli, east of Nicosia and covers 65 km 40 miles to the village of Derinia, on the east coast of Cyprus and has been the responsibility of the Slovakian contingent, with 202 soldiers. <laughs> Crossings After a nearly 30-year ban on crossings, the Turkish Cypriot administration significantly eased travel restrictions across the dividing line in April 2003, allowing Greek Cypriots to cross at the Ledra Palace crossing just outside the walls of Old Nicosia. This was only made possible after the decision of the ECHR Javit and VS Turkey, application no 20652 seconds. These are the crossings now available. Before Cypriot accession to the European Union, there were restrictions on Green Line crossings by foreigners imposed by the Republic of Cyprus, but these were abolished for EU citizens by EU Regulation 866 2004. Generally, citizens of any country are permitted to cross the line, including Greek and Turkish Cypriots. A 2005 EU report stated that a systematic illegal route through the northern part to the government-controlled areas exists", allowing an influx of asylum seekers. Incidents <inaudible> 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 In August 1996, Greek Cypriot refugees demonstrated with a march against the Turkish occupation of Cyprus. The demonstrators' demand was the complete withdrawal of Turkish troops and the return of Cypriot refugees to their homes and properties. Among the demonstrators was Tassos Isaac who was beaten to death, another man, Solomos Solomou, was shot to death by Turkish troops during the same protests on 14 August 1996. Aged 26, Solomu was one of many mourners who entered the buffer zone three days after Isaac's funeral, on 14 August to lay a wreath on the spot where he had been beaten to death. Solomu was fired upon by Turkish soldiers when he was climbing to a flagpole to remove the flag of Turkey. 
An investigation by authorities of the Republic of Cyprus followed, and the suspects were named as Keenan Akin and Erdan Amane. International legal proceedings were instigated and arrest warrants for both were issued via Interpol. During the demonstrations on the 14th of August 1996, two British soldiers were also shot by the Turkish forces, Neil Emery and Geoffrey Hudson, both from 39th Regiment Royal Artillery. Bombardier Emery was shot in his arm, whilst Gunnar Hudson was shot in the leg by a high-velocity rifle round and was airlifted to hospital in Nicosia then on to Raf Akrotiri. Activism <inaudible> 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 The buffer zone between the checkpoints that divide Ledra Street was used as a space for activism from 15 October 2011 up until June 2012 by the Occupy Buffer Zone movement. See also Green Line Inter-Entity Boundary Line Cyprus dispute Cypriot refugees Republic of Cyprus United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees Representation in Cyprus List of territories governed by the United Nations No Man's Land Sovereign Base Areas Customs Pilar Lorugina Salient Kokina Exclave Merlane Twarfhoven, did a project in Nicosia with musicians from both sides of the border.